All right, welcome back. It's still News Hub, and it's time for us to talk aviation. That's averting air disasters with a focus on Boeing 737 aircraft that uh, crashed on Sunday uh, from, uh, from uh, Ethio Ethiopia to Kenya. Uh, we saw that everyone on board uh, lost their lives. A very sad development. Two Nigerians were among uh, nationalities that were on board that aircraft. Uh, but regardless of nationalities of people who were on board that aircraft, lives were lost. And how is it that we can avert this from happening again? It's um, what we are discussing at the moment with Tunji Oketumbi. Tunji is the General Manager, Public Affairs Accident Investigation Bureau, AIB. You're welcome to the program. Thank you. Welcome to the yeah. uh, before, before yesterday, the United States, you know, was still talking about, you know, going ahead with flying Boeing 737. But um, uh, yesterday, uh, the United States has joined in grounding the Boeing aircraft. Uh, after much pressure from a lot of people. And then we also saw that the shares of the Boeing uh, company actually dropped a whole, uh, a big deal. Now, this is not in Nigeria, but we are yeah. still part of it because Nigeria flies, yeah. uh, Nigerians mm -hmm. fly a lot yeah. to a, any part of the world. Yeah. Now, tell me, first of all, what are the lessons to learn from this crash? Well, uh, you know, the investigation is still ongoing. Um, we're still waiting for um, the report, you know. Uh, but one lesson that we can um, gain from this is that um, safety has priority over economics, you know, over um, any other consideration. So that is one, because um, in America, uh, Boeing is a very strong company. This air, particular aircraft has uh, about uh, f over 5,000 orders already. So you know what that means. And then um, it means that some airlines can cancel the orders. And again, uh, an airline like uh, Southwest uses um, only Boeing. Only Boeing 737. And out of the about 700, uh, 700 uh, uh, aircraft that they have, uh, 35 of them belong to this um, a category of uh, aircraft we are talking about. But what is important is that uh, safety is more important than any other thing. That's a major lesson that we can learn here. Very well said, Mr. Tunji. Um, the credibility of Boeing is at stake as we speak right now. What exactly went wrong in this update of their Boeing fleet? What exactly mm -hmm. went wrong? Well, it is too early to say something has gone wrong. We have had just two uh, crashes now, um, and the first one was. I'm sorry, you say just two, like we expected. I'm sorry, you know? I'm sorry about that, but it's not just to say, uh, but uh, just comparing the the, time? the accident, okay. the number of accident compared with the number of the uh, aircraft, and then uh, whatever. Uh, if, if you look at it, we've had two crashes now, and it's very difficult for us to say now whether the two are the same. I mean, what caused but that one is what so. caused this one. Mm. You know, it's very difficult to say now. Um, if we assume that what caused that one is what caused this one, it's something that can be rectified. But Boeing is seriously in a serious uh, critical situation right now. But they have not admitted that uh, the, uh, the problem is a big uh, issue for now. As far as uh, Boeing is concerned, they still have confidence in their aircraft and then it can be used. Um, they have issued some advisories, you know, pilots on training should not use uh, the aircraft for now and all those things. So for now, um, uh, Boeing is a very strong company. It's a very strong company, it's a credible company and then um, they hold a significant part of the uh, aviation industry in terms of the number of aircraft uh, that the they have yeah, that manufactured. Now, I don't know if Nigeria is involved in the investigation process with this aircraft that, um, that you know, crashed. Because in future, I'm sure Nigerians will be, Nigeria will be one of the countries who would use the Boeing 737 MAX when everything is rectified. But tell me, what should be the focus of the investigation to determine the cause of this, um, this accident? Well, the... the Nigeria does not have that aircraft uh, yes, presently on our register. That, yes. 
and um, we would have been involved in the investigation. But the two Nigerians that are on, uh, that were on that uh, uh, flight yeah. uh, were not carrying Nigerian uh, passports. So um, ordinarily, we should be uh, involved. Uh, one is, was carrying a um, Canadian, a Canadian uh, passport. passport, and the other United Nations uh, uh, passport. passport. So ordinarily, they were not Nigerians. But we know that they were, they are, they, they were Nigerians. But for as per the investigation, uh, it's not going to be different from all other investigations. When you are, when you are investigating, you don't just uh, narrow uh, your mind into one particular area. It's a, something that is still open. They are going to be looking at all aspects of um, uh, flight uh, operation uh, before they can. And luckily, they have recovered the, uh, the, the, yeah, the flight recorders. And this one will now narrow their um, investigation. The, uh, investigation to certain uh, areas. By the time they do the readout of uh, those um, flight recorders, how much interest do you think Nigeria should have uh, with regards to this investigation? How much interest should we put to it? Everybody should be interested. Even if we don't presently have um, Boeing, the aircraft the marks, yes. the, the, yeah, on our register, our airlines have ordered for it. Yes. Our past, I mean, our Nigerians are flying all over the world and they are going to be using this uh, particular aircraft. So we should be interested, very, very interested. A particular airline has said it's not uh, withdrawing its order made, you know, to this Boeing company. Uh, should we be worried about that? No, 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 no. It's too early. Like I said, investigations are ongoing. Um, even if at the end of the day they have discovered certain um, things that have to be, you know, that, that, that have to be addressed, it's too early. These airlines cannot get it in the next two years. They can't get those aircraft. Sorry, you, you're saying it's years. too early, but it was just a five months, you know, uh, gap, time gap that it happened last year, October, and then it's happening now. Uh, how much longer are we going to wait before we stop saying it's too early? Okay. You were talking about Nigerian carriers that have ordered yes, for this yes. aircraft. They are not going to get it in the next two years okay. to four years. Okay. So in other words, whatever is found wrong will be rectified before. It will have been done before that time. Okay. Their own is still on the. <laughs> Maybe like the on, on the board, on the yes. But don't you think that a comprehensive test should have been done, you know, thoroughly on this aircraft before being sold to the countries that are currently they using did, it? They did. They did before FAA can certify oh, an yeah. aircraft or a design. Ah, it goes through a lot gamut of uh, processes. So they have done that before an aircraft can be allowed to fly. Even if it's a small uh, recreational uh, aircraft, it goes through a lot of. But that does not mean the system is perfect. But there are rooms for, uh, you know, adjusting or correcting. You can even be using it for five years before you discover certain things, mm. and they will correct them. So uh, it is not. Um, it's a serious problem, but it's, the, it's a it's a it's a problem that is normal. Let's, let's, let's come back home to Nigeria and um, your organization and um, your role you play in accident investigations. Uh, how equipped are we uh, to investigate issues like this in Nigeria? Uh, we are well equipped. We are very, very well equipped. Um, for example, we have a, a laboratory where you can download uh, these uh, flight recorders. You can download information from the flight recorders. If they had brought those uh, two um, fly recorders that they recovered from that um, accident, we will help. And that is one. Then we have competent professionals who are accident investigators in Nigeria who are world class, who can compare, you know, very well with we all other uh, investigators uh, from all over the world. We are also in synergy with. Um, uh, various uh, sister organizations in other parts of the world. We are, I mean, we have well-trained, competent. Do you know now that we are even conducting investigation for other countries? Very recently, we were mandated to investigate um, an air crash in Saatomi and Principe, which we did. And we also have a material laboratory. We have a, a lot of equipment. And we are still getting more. 
we are getting more. So we are, we are well equipped to answer your question. All right, so how long does inv investigations like this, you know, how long does it take to have, uh, you know, the investigations completed? Mm. It's very difficult to say. You cannot put a finger on how long it's going to take. It depends on the investigation itself. Some investigations have taken four years, some six months, some one year. But the, uh, the global rate is uh, 18 months. So we hope that if nothing is a means, maybe in the next one year, we should be able to have a full report. So you're saying for the next one year, all Boeing Max 8, 9 will be grounded? No, there are some, you know, there are some um, investigation that can be, part of the investigation that can be done and completed within two months, one month or whatever. They would have discovered certain things which they will be addressing before the full report can come out. It is not when the full report has come out that um, safety actions are taken. taken. No, as it, Boeing is part of the investigation right now. You know, Boeing is part of the investigation. Um, the airline, um, the NTSB of America, the house involved. FA is also, you know, on the side. And there are some countries that have uh, uh, maybe a large number of nationals and whatever. They are also there. So it, 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 accident investigation in aviation is an international business. Oh. So any little thing like this that they see that can affect safety will be passed across, across to all, everybody. So actions are taken as the investigation continues. So it's not, nobody is waiting until the end of uh, investigation. the investigation, no. No. Okay, now about 26 countries have placed a ban on this uh, Boeing 737 MAX 8 and even 9 mm. that they have requested for. Now, is it, is it okay or should the next step of the company, is it the next step, should it be to, uh, to withdraw all the plane models that they've already sold from all over the world? Well, like I said earlier on, Boeing still has confidence in this aircraft. Even American government still says they have confidence in that aircraft. Um, what people are... So you don't expect America to say otherwise anyway? Mm, not necessarily. Safety is more important than nationality. Um, right now, all the airlines that are grounding the aircraft and countries that are grounding the aircraft are taking precautionary measures. measures. Okay. Not necessarily because they have seen something that, that they can substantiate, you know, or they can use as evidence. No but precautionary measures so that we don't lose more um, if in case there is anything that can be you know related to that particular uh, crash you know but let's just take it now that uh, what we have are just precautionary measures okay. not that the aircraft is uh, uh, is unsafe all right. I just imagine you know, Nigerians trying to uh, board a flight to any part of the country, in fact, even in Nigeria. And some, from social media, we've I've seen some reactions saying that I wouldn't board a Boeing 737. Now, like cars, we know that there are number plates that can tell you this car is, uh, has this number plate. But for planes, uh, just to allay the fears of Nigerians, really, um, when you're on, when you're board a craft and you, your pilot is telling you, uh, welcome, you're on board Boeing 737, Three, seven, or another number. Now, how is it that um, is it is it out of place for Nigeria to be paranoid when boarding an aircraft after this incident? I don't think it's necessary. Okay, let's look at seven three seven. It's one of the most solid aircraft. Can you also differentiate between Boeing and other types of um, aircraft? No, don't let us begin to uh, spread fears. You understand what I'm saying? There is nothing wrong with seven three seven. 737 is the, is the most successful model, aircraft model in the world today. Don't let us spread their fear. Uh, they don't need to become paranoid. Uh, there are aviation uh, authorities all over the world. Their major concern is the traveling public. So they should know and should be rest assured that there are some people who are day and night watching over their safety anywhere in the world. So, uh, Boeing 737 has been on for about 50 years now, and um, it's one of the most successful uh, planes in the world that, you know, 
come to think of it, this particular model, I mean, this particular max has 5,000, over 5,000 orders. And just, uh, maybe just about uh, 350 are out now. Which, which tells you confidence. Yes. So don't worry. I believe that uh, within a short time, all these things will be, uh, will be sorted out. Okay, so uh, we, had a, we had a guest here yesterday um, who took us through um, the possibility of what could have, what could have gone <coughs> wrong with that aircraft. He says uh, it could be manual, lack of manual use, lack of um, knowledge of the, of the runnings of the plane by the pilots because of the new technology um, that could have been brought into um, the plane. So I, I'm, I'm asking, shouldn't we have proper training of our pilots? You, you, actually, you actually alluded to the fact that um, part of the regulations right now is that um, we shouldn't use that um, plane for, for pilots on trainee, trainee pilots. So what does that tell me? It's probably a more sophisticated um, um, airplane that needs a um, certain level of training to be able to run? Um, when you say pilots on training, no, it does not mean um, training, young, young training, pilot. Yeah. Not, not necessarily um, a young pilot, not only a, a trainee pilot. You know, we have simulator training. Okay. Uh, so sometimes they will have to ask all their, I mean, their pilots on that particular model to go for simulator training in order to that those ones that are still undergoing that should not touch it yet. But people have completed that who know uh, uh, certain things that they have. Yeah. Okay, no advisories that have been given that this thing, we have corrected this area. This is what you should do if you have this kind of problem. This is what you should do if you have this kind of problem. You know, um, pilots are well trained to know what to do. However, there may be circumstances that may be even beyond their control at a particular point in time. So there's no problem uh, regarding uh, uh, that as it were. Now yeah. we know we cannot um, overrule uh, accidents in any in sphere of life. Yeah. And the Ethiopian airline is one of the best in Africa. Yeah. But this even happened unfortunately, first, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. what, is, what is Nigeria doing? Uh, to avert such things. It doesn't have to be any Boeing plane. You know, we're talking about safety of Nigerians flying out of Nigeria or into Nigeria. How prepared or how uh, are we even, I think he asked you a question concerning how equipped you are to, to handle such accidents, you know. Are we, are we you know, are, are we faring well in terms of uh, ensuring that our planes, uh, we've heard from the, the Nigerian Civil Division Authority, but are we prepared? Are we ready? Do we, uh, are we dotted our I's and cross our T's to ensure that um, our planes, uh, planes going out of Nigeria, coming into Nigeria from other countries are also in good shape? Do we have all those things uh, always you know, done? Yes. Yes is the answer. We have those things in place. And you also agree with me that uh, in the last uh, three years now, there has been no fatality uh, in, in air travel in Nigeria. Um, we are not, we may not be there yet, but we are, have all those things in place. There is a regulatory body that is up and doing. Uh, we are also doing our job. We are reeling out uh, reports, you know, on regular basis. You know, even outstanding um, uh, reports are being addressed at a very um, uh, passionate uh, rate. So all these, one, all these uh, now contribute to air safety. And the airlines also, uh, the way they do now is just like self-regulation. They have a lot of things that they have to do on their own. They know that accident is more expensive than safety. So the, nobody, we have medium-sized, uh, small and medium-sized airlines in Nigeria. When small and medium-sized airlines are involved in accident, within three years they fizzle out of uh, business. So, the impact so they know the, they the know cost. The, yeah, they know the cost. Let me cast your mind back to, I don't know if AIB covers this particular incident I want okay. to raise up now. Uh, sometime last year, late last year, uh, the vice president's helicopter crashed. Yeah. The this investigation. Year. This year. Well, oh, this year. Yeah, this year. Yeah. Investigations, have they been concluded? What caused this accident? And couldn't it have been averted? Why would a vice president's helicopter, of all helicopters, crash? We have issued a preliminary re uh, report which gave uh, factual information. 
um, the investigation into this particular crash is still ongoing, you know, and until we um, we have uh, uh, we have completed that uh, report or the investigations, uh, it would just be speculative. Why did it happen? How did it happen? Could it have been prevented? And all those things. They will be uh, they will be re reeled out in that uh, uh, when our full report is out. So what is, what is the finding of the preliminary report? Yeah, like we said, the aircraft was about to land and some uh, dust were generated and the pilots, I mean to put in a layman's term, uh, the pilots had no, uh, sight, uh, uh, of, uh, vision. Uh, vision and more awareness of that uh, particular and on, la on landing uh, the aircraft uh, went, over. Fell, uh, yeah, went over and then um, uh, that is what we can just say for now. But all other things have been investigated. Every detail concerning that flight operation is being looked into. And in, in, in a short time, uh, hopefully, we'll be able to come out with a full uh, report. Actually, but we are, we are on top of the situation. Great. I can assure you. Good to know that. But I needed to assure Nigerians again of their safety on air. Yeah, they are very safe. Domestic and Whether they are vice president, class. president, or ordinary Nigerians, they are safe. We will look after everybody equally. They are all um, safe. Like I told you earlier on that there were various um, uh, agencies responsible for one aspect of uh, safety or the other. The International Civil Aviation Organization is also concerned about safety all over the world. IATA, which is just the, uh, an association of, for the uh, international airlines, they are also concerned about safety. So they also do a lot of um, uh, researches and everything. Every day, passing it to their members, working in collaboration with uh, ICAO. And we are also working in collaboration with all other agencies in the world. For, for example, in the last one year, we have received a lot of trainings organized by ICAO by an NTSB in America, uh, by all other organizations in Europe. And they, are, they are all working with us because they know that the safety of uh, Nigerian airspace is the safety of the world airspace. Many people travel, even people that you will not see mm. flying over Nigeria airspace. If in our airspace. So aviation safety is an international business. It's not left to one country alone. Even countries that do not have enough resources, you know, to prosecute this, IKEA is helping them with trainings, with resources. And uh, some countries that are, that are also blessed, like Nigeria, are also helping other smaller countries too. Do you ever have, do you ever have any concern about compromise of this process by regulators? Do you ever have that concern, that fear? Of course, of course. It's, it's, um, uh, not uh, fair because we know that um, once we give people constant trainings, they are on top of their job. And I believe that um, all the agencies in Nigeria accord priority to training. We are in AIB, for example, we have spent hundreds of thousands of dollars on training. So it, it is, um, uh, I'm assured. I fly too, I don't want to die, and I believe that all of us that are working in the aviation industry don't want to die too. And we fly the same aircraft with everybody in the public, with the traveling public. So I don't think, uh, even if we don't love you, I think we should love ourselves at mm. least. Uh, we don't want to die too. So we are very, very concerned about uh, that. I'm not saying the system is uh, perfect, but every issue that comes up is being addressed all over the world. Right. Whether there's a compromise on the part of the airline, on the part of the regulator, or whatever, they are issues that are ongoing. They are ongoing concern. And as AIB, if I must say this, we don't spare anyone. If the regulatory body has not done what it's supposed to do, in our report, you'll find it there. If an airline has not done what it's supposed to do, you'll find it there. We don't cover anybody because we know that this is safety. We don't know who's going to be in the next uh, plane. That's, you know, so it's, it's a serious matter. As far as we are concerned, this is a very serious matter. And we have a leadership in AIB that is so committed to that. 
All right, Mr. Tinji. Uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a perfect place to end the show. Thank, thank you, you so much for the segment. Com We're not the show yeah, for the end of the segment. Thank you for coming on the show. We appreciate um, the assurance and reassurances that you've given to the Nigerian, the flying public. But all is well with the aviation sector. Yes, yes. Thank you so very much. You're okay, welcome. so about this time, we'll um, take a break. When we come back, we'll be joining our other. Jida will be joining us to talk some sports. Say something, you say no.